Okay, hello everybody, my name is Ryan, and today, um, I am here to talk about, in episode 3 of the Gamers Podcast, mind you, I am here to talk about feminism. What is feminism? <coughs> Holy fuck, okay, I am really sick, so you're gonna hear me sniffle a lot. Okay, so feminism. Feminism by dictionary definition. Feminism is someone who advocates women's rights usually. It doesn't always have to be... No, actually, yes. No, that is what a feminist... That's exactly what a feminist is. Okay, so if you hear this go off, I do apologize. And I'll probably just... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so... um. Fem feminism, uh, it is a big deal, actually, because by dictionary definition, I am a feminist. I absolutely am. I advocate women's rights. I happen to really like women. Women deserve to be just as equal as men, and not to mention, I click with women more than I click with men. Um... That sounds like a trait of a gay person, but I can promise you that um, I I am a heterosexual male. I have a beautiful girlfriend, and I really enjoy looking at half-naked women, okay? So if any of you th say that you, it's impossible to be straight and be a feminist, you're wrong, okay? Nothing's impossible. Okay, but anyways, so... Oh, sorry. So this... Right here, this is a picture of um, of one of me and my friends, and I think it, this was grade 10 on the bus. This is a, uh, oh shit, where is it? Oh fuck. Right, right there. Yes, right there. This is, th that is one of my best friends in the whole wide world. I love her to death. I would take a bullet for her. She is an amazing friend. Okay. Do I think someone like like my friend Jade? Her name is Jade, by the way. Do I think Jade deserves to have just as equal rights as me? Absolutely I do. That is like my take on it. If Jade wanted to be a YouTuber just like what I'm doing, absolutely I would help her. If I wanted to if I wanted to become a hard-working civilian like she is, would she help me do it? Maybe. <laughs> Not 100%. Can't really speak for Jade. But um, here's the cool part about me, my friendship with Jade. Um, basically, the maturity level between me and her is huge. And I say that as in... Um, in uh, a lot of ways, I'm more mature than her. In a lot of ways, she's more mature than me. And then you get the balance, right, of when we have a conversation. And then once once we have that converse, conversation of, you know, like like just the other day, the the um, a very very uncomfortable topic came up between uh, between me and her. And you know what? Um, after me being my immature self, making a little bit of jokes, uh, I kind of just bucked up and just kind of, we just talked about it. And I uh, threw out some suggest suggestions, and she told me what her take on it was, and um, and yeah, that was a really cool thing about me and Jade. And you know what, I, I really click with her because, um, because she's very opinionated, like I am, and we don't see the world completely as equal as each other because like me I'm very laid back I'm very lazy and and I and I love to I love to make crude jokes and offensive jokes and as for her she's very well behaved and very hard working and and very mature and um and you know and basically when we first were friends like in like like in that picture that picture um my maturity level she was here and now she was here uh, no, no, sorry. I was here. No, fuck. What was I saying? Jade's here. Like, she's high up on the maturity level. 
at the time, I was, like, down here, like, off frame. Like, I was, like, to the floor, basically, in maturity level. Then I hung out with Jade a lot, got to know her a bit, went up. Hung out with her some more, went up. And then we rose together. Of course, while still working on myself in my relationship and stuff, because I grew, very, I grew as a person compared to when I first started hanging out with her. And why am I talking about Jade? Like, only my friend Jade. Because Jade is a perfect example of, you know, it's, it's a, she's a perfect example of, like, what a strong woman is. I personally believe that Jade is, um, is, is a very hardworking and very caring person. Um, she really, she's... I can't really say too much about Jade because I don't want her to get mad at me. <laughs> but, um, I mean, every person has their pros and cons, right? But, um, Jade, with Jade, my buddy, my buddy Jade, she's my buddy, right? She's my sister, basically. She's a sister I've always wanted, you know? Like, someone, like, I've always wanted to have a close sibling, and I was never close with my brother. But me and my brother were good, but I was never close with him. And you got Jade, she's my sister. It's people like Jade, the reason why I, I become a feminist. Be, I, like, I accidentally became one, you know what I mean? Because Jade, I'm, I'm pretty sure me and Jade actually talked about this topic at one point. She, one of us was taking a history class or something, and she, and, and I, so it got brought up, and she was very, like, you know, why are guys such fucking assholes, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, why can't, why can't I play sports just like they can play sports? Um, I don't, I'm not 100% that's the accurate topic, like, exact things that we were talking about. But I did agree with her, and that's kind of what grew my, my feminism. Um, by the way, just so you guys know, I am no way in hell like, a supporter of Anita Arkeesian or whatever her name is, and just, like, the what the bitch who's, like, fucking doing the whole gaming thing. Gaming is what it is. If there's one thing that a, any person, male, female, should, should realize is that you're always going to see a half-naked chick or a half-naked man being pr promoting a video game, you know, like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like you see TV and... And there's just a woman, just a real hot woman, smiling and stuff. We can't control that. I mean, does like some feminists want less of that? I I'm perfectly fine with it, just kind of because it's always been there, and it will continue to be there from a long time ago. I mean, like seriously, pro wrestling, like as soon as they converted to to uh, just using hot women as wrestlers, they they jumped on it, you know what I mean? Like, they, their ratings went through the roof and stuff. And, um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that, uh, my good old sister Jade, um, she would actually have an opinion about that. I'm not gonna say what I think it is, just because I don't want to call her out on a public platform on what it is, because if she, because I could be wrong, right? I could be wrong. Anyways. <laughs> so, um, Fuck, I got off topic. I do apologize. Um, me and Jade had a conversation. She opened my eyes. And, you know, I realized after... Because I've had friends who were girls before. But they were very one-sided minded, if that makes sense. Um, okay, for example, I, I can't really say the name. But um, I uh, back, like, when I, like, actually before my friend Jade, I hung out with uh, some other girls... And they always, just always, did not really respect too many people. They didn't respect their rights. They didn't really respect, like, like just, a, like, a lot of anything. And this is an interesting topic to talk about because, um, because Jade, Jade, I know for 100% she looks at both points of views. She's just very, she's very hard-headed like I am. Like, it's like, yeah, this may be your point of view, but still, right? Because that's how strong her points can be. And, and the reason why I'm talking about Jade so highly is because that is me advocating how strong of a woman I think Jade is. 
and I, I and I do realize I'm saying her name way too much, but um, but she, but honestly, like seriously, like we need people like her in the world, like just hardworking, strong, like you know she knows what she believes in, and you know I mean up here. Up here, she may not think so, but honestly, on the outside, uh, on the outside, and getting to know her on the inside quite a bit, you can see it. Seriously, like, so if she, ever, so Jade, if you're watching this, if you're doubting yourself, like right now, like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, I do, no, I don't, right? It's like, so, honestly, you're wrong. Okay, you are. Um, I think you are an amazing person. And honestly, even though she's older than me, she feels like my little sister because I happen to be extremely tall and taller than her. Um, uh, I do believe that I am more street smart than Jade. Uh, just because I have literally uh, hung out in that scene. Um, I don't really think Jade has ever hung out in the music scene. I mean, I have. And the music scene in my town consists of a lot of weed and a lot of, like, smoking and doing drugs. <laughs> and, um, yeah, guys, I mean, pretty it's pretty interesting that, you know, just, like, one one person can actually impact one, one guy's, like, way of life. And the reason why I um, am so... Oh, it's freezing. Come on. Fuck off. Oh, you're freezing. Are you kidding me? Oh. Okay, I'm going to pick this back up because I actually, this is a good podcast so far. So I'll stop recording and then, yeah. Okay, I had to move over to a different software, but that's all right. Um, so, guys, I uh, was talking about, uh, what was I talking about again? I was talking a lot about my friend Jade, that's for damn sure, and... Here, let me get into why I brought her up. I brought her up because I personally believe that she is a strong woman. I have said that like five times now. Okay. But here's the thing, though. In a lot of ways, I can handle certain things that Jade can't handle better. In a lot more ways, Jade can handle a lot of things that I can't handle and even with my guy friends, the same thing. So I believe just physically, we're, we're quite different. Um, as people, as emotional beings, same people. I have, I've met girls who basically are almost identical to who I am. Surprisingly, yes, I have. Um, of course, they still, because I feel like girls are more sensitive psychologically than guys are, but then you got a guy like me who's very sensitive as well, and this is a interesting uh, area to, to kind of talk about because, um, because when, because like I am sensitive, but like, like, the, like the kind of guy I am is I'm sensitive, but I am very I can be non-sensitive at the same time. Like, like for example, it's like someone calls me a faggot one day, and I get pissed off, and I'm hurt, I'm offended, because a, I'm not gay. B, that's a that's a horrible term to to call somebody just because like of how like slandering it is to the homosexual community. And then C, it's it's like it's pissed. I'm pissed off because he thinks he's better than me, and he thinks he has the right to call me a faggot. And and I need to answer this text message. I told you guys that I need to do this, but I am so... Here, I just gotta... <laughs> yeah. Goddamn. What the fuck? Good night. Us, oh, girlfriend. <laughs> Good night. And miss you. To my very beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be asking a question, and if she doesn't watch this video, she's gonna ask a question <laughs> on Tuesday. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, so I 
am I'm a feminist. I'm just retracting my thoughts. I am a feminist. Jade's an awesome person, and women should be as equal as men. Okay. So So if someone calls me a name and I get offended. Okay, right, the kind of guy I am. So come on, someone calls me a fag and then I get pissed off. The next day, someone calls me a fag, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> That's how weird my my brain works. Um, I do have a learning disability, and something's a little different up here than most people. See, the way my head works is that I will never stop wanting to learn something. There's a point in an average person's life where they will want to stop learning things. It's because you're just sick of school, right? But you know what? Like I watch documentaries. I I Google if I'm very curious about something, no matter what it is. Like I know a lot about the human body and how to uh, prevent myself from getting ill very easily, and that has shown because I know what I'm doing, and what I'm doing works, and it's and I've proven it to work to myself. Ah. Uh. Anyways. So um, so then in doing this. And doing this, I everything up here is program is getting processed in a very different way. That's why sometimes I have a hard time learning, and that's why my laziness gets the best of me. Um, you see, I I it, it's a long process if I ever want to shake a bad habit, and I have this like I have been shaking this bad habit for probably four months, and I came borderline. Like I always come, th sometimes I come this close from actually breaking that streak of uh, accomplishing it, <laughs> and um, which is fine. But uh, but it's just a matter of control, and I'm learning control of my own emotions and my own desires, which is awesome. And then, and then you got people, and you got women who just who I'm so jealous of sometimes because I would love, like like if I were a girl. I would be the most, first of all, I would be the most lesbian girl out there, because I don't think there's ever any hell in chance I would ever end up liking boys. Um, and second of all, I, um, it's just kind of like, I wish I could have their passion. Because I feel like women have a different passion than men. I feel like most women actually go into the field where they um, want to help people, want to help animals. I remember uh, one time I had a friend who wanted to be a vet at one time, another friend who wanted to be a therapist, a girl who I don't even know, who I never thought would ever want to get into this field, wanted to become a therapist and a, like a psychologist or something like that. No, a social worker, that's what it was, and uh, I remember I was the, like, and here's the interesting part, like, like I love just being unique. Like, feminism and unique, so that's the topic of this. So, like, okay, so if I'm going to switch topics, I'm just going to stop myself right here and just go on a limb and just kind of say, um, hell to the fuck yeah, um, women are awesome, but we need to be here, because men are still here, up, up top, and women are still, like, and women are, like, right here, right? We just need to give them that extra push and put us right here. Because there's still a few things in the world that women get shunned for. One of them is you, we gotta stop using... You run like a girl. You know what I mean? You you hit like a girl. You sound like a girl. You look like a girl. You sound like a man, if, if you're saying that to a woman. Insults to women. Making them feel lesser is not good. I do not like insulting women. I do not like using you hit like a girl... Even though I have used it in the past, and I do apologize if anyone ever heard me say that, and I really doubt it. Because um, yeah, actually, now I just realized I have been said you run like a girl to um to a uh, op to a man in a very long time. I've said that, I say that to my friends who are girls, like for example Jade, because just because um she. Well, no, just because we goof off, right? Because we're buddies, like we're si we're brother, we're sisters, yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, so last thing about my friend Jade, Jade, I love you, girl. Hopefully, we can hang out soon. Okay.
Okay, so I'm switching gears into you being unique. Um, so I, at my school, I went to a presentation to... Oh, no, back to the social worker thing, like, of that girl. That girl, she said she wanted to be a social worker. And she had, we had to present what we wanted to be. And this girl, very good-looking girl, by the way, <laughs> who kind of is in, like, that popular crowd, you know, guys throw themselves at her and kind of, like, all that shit. And then she, what does she do? She goes from... And then she she says she wants to be a social worker. And she says you know like like you know this is how much money I'll be making. This is like why I kind of kind of why I want to do it. And and then I asked. And then everyone. And then because at the end of it you do a small Q and A. And um and I raise my hand. And she goes yeah what's up. And then I'm like and I'm like any influences behind why you want to be a social worker. And do you know what the interesting part was? She did not have a good answer. Okay? She chose it just be just for something to do, something just, like, possibly she wanted to do. And there was really nothing driving her to, like, doing... She goes, she goes, well, I feel like that I am a good person and I can help people because I have good advice. And it's kind of like, huh? <laughs> you know, it's like, is that your influence? Is that your drive to do this? Why do I want to be a YouTuber? Let's look at that for a second. Why do I want to be a YouTuber? Why do I want to be a YouTuber? Because, okay, number one, the Smith plays. Very motivational to, to pursue this. He's my inspiration. He's my role model. He's the one I look up to for YouTube advice. Second, I have friends who do YouTube who are becoming successful. I got Riley, I, got, I even got Roy, and Megan Hunter, cause, just because I record with her. And, you know, but R Riley especially, so so I got Smith Plays Riley, those are influences, because Riley is just like me, from a small town, and look at him now, he's got over 300 subscribers. And, yeah, and look at me, I've built, you know, 31 subscribers from doing this channel, because... Yeah, I mean, like, I'm doing it the more, like, the more, like, raw, generic, raw way, and, uh, but, um, I'm still enjoying the ride. Um, and then, so, so, if someone were to say, why do you want to be a YouTuber? Like, what, like, what's your drive? Like, what, what pushes you to, to put out a video every week? Ow! 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 I just flip my, okay, whatever. Like, what, what's your drive? And I go, you know, like, Smith Plays, you know, this guy, his name's Patrick, you know, he does a podcast, and his podcast is awesome, he does zombie videos, zombies is my favorite video game, blah, 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 and then, like, I just love the editing process of a video, I love to edit videos, like, and my favorite series to do on my channel is batting shit out, just because that is where I sit down for, like, an hour, and I edit that video, and it's awesome, and, um, yeah, so, and then, and then you get people like that girl, like, even though her, her intentions were, like, like, her pursuit, her pursuit for this career was positive, it wasn't that positive, and then you got unique people like me, and, um, I was at a, uh, presentation at my school about a very sensitive topic, so viewer discretion is advised, um, we were talking about rape, and how... If you're in, if a girl is intoxicated and a guy goes up to her and has his way with her, bangs her, even if she consents, that's still rape because she's not making a proper judgment up here because she is, because she was under the influence of alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant, and and I do realize I'm getting really excited. Um, so then, so then everyone's like, okay, instead of like trying to get with this person who's drunk, what do you do? And I'm like, well, if I were at a party. And I had my license or whatever, and I saw this girl who was uh, drunk. I would probably just drive her home, and then, right, like I would just drive her home. Like I would just say, "Hey, do you know where you live?" Like if she was competent enough, and then you know maybe just like find maybe just tell her to put in her phone code or something. That because um, but but then I but then I was talking with my mother, and um, she she said, "Well, that wouldn't look good." And I'm like, oh, well, well, yeah, that's actually true, because, like, you know, if you're walking away with, like, you know, with a drunk girl over your shoulder, then that doesn't look good. <laughs> um, so then what I would do, 
so then she suggested what what I do is, and I've always known this, uh, but um, I've always known this, and that 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 uh, example before is kind of like, like like I never really felt like that. I was just kind of like you know just just find out who you were gonna con like just try and hack into their phone and see who you can contact for them just to get them home or even you know what if you have a friend who's so who's uh who who's not really a drinker like with you because you're probably gonna go to a party with a friend and if you and your friend don't drink but you are able to have a good time you know you still go to a party right um but yeah if i had a friend with me who is just as sober as i am and and uh and then she said okay, well, this is where I live, and I'm like, holy fuck, that's pretty goddamn far, and I'm like, you know what, screw it, call a cab, get into the cab with her, because here's the interesting part, yes, you're absolutely going out of your way to, you're going out of your way to, um, to save someone's life, save their well-being, saving their, their innocence, if they have any, but, but honestly, because, like, if I were to do that, I would go home and I would just kind of say, you know what, I saved a life today. I prevented someone possibly getting raped. And I would be allowed to say that. I have every right to say that because I did it. And, um, and I have been in an experience where I have, not a drunk girl, but I have prevented a girl from making a stupid decision because there's one thing about girls is their sensitivity kind of gets the best of them sometimes. Um... And so, same with guys, but guys uh, go about it in a different way. Um, like I said, equals. So, um, so back to like uniqueness. So I went to this presentation, and I d gave that exact answer where you just kind of like you just kind of get a hold of somebody and you just go home. No one. I was the only person who said that, and they they would give out chocolates based on your answer. Like you like. If you like, I got I got five chocolates out of the whole thing. Everyone else got like one or two or three at the most, and I got the most just because I knew what I was talking about, and I was intel I was showing my intelligence. I was showing a good example of like what not to do, what to do. Um, and then they're kind of like, well, how do you get romantic with somebody without sup without depressants or supplements? And it's kind of like, do you love them? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's and then you know I just got a bunch for that. And, um, and because, and you know what the be the sad part was, is that I actually got glared at because people didn't like the fact that I was getting more than they did, but all you really have to do is just common sense, like, like, um, and do you know what the really sad part is, though, um, about raping, is that guys get a bad rap because of testosterone and strength levels, because, <sighs> I've thought about this before, and sometimes this is the only this is the only reason why I do not like being a guy, especially a heavy set guy. Well, one of the only reasons. I'm getting better now. Actually, if you notice, my my face and neck are actually thinning out a little bit. Okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> that's besides the point. But um, but the one thing I really don't like about being a guy is that I have the strength level and the not the desire i was gonna say desire i do not have the desire to rape someone but i do have the power and the strength and the intimidation factor that i would be able to and that freaks the hell out of me because something could something traumatic could happen to me fuck me up up here and then i do it i don't want to do it i never want to do it i never have done it thank christ and um and i uh I do believe that um, that it is possible for a woman to rape a man. I mean, because because rape is like just like sexually harassing. Oh no, it's not harassing. Uh, sexually assaulting somebody with uh, because sexual assault is basically just when they say no and then you do it anyways. That's rape to me. And um, and along with that whole like drunk thing that I was talking about earlier. Um, and um, this is a very sensitive subject, so I do apologize, guys. But, um, yeah, so this started out as feminism. So there is a interesting, there's an interesting theory behind that. It's kind of like, oh, wait, what? Is there? No, like my theory about um, guys kind of getting a bad rap is just, 
Well, the theory is is that it's because we're stronger normally. Like most most likely we're stronger. Because do you really think Holly Holmes or Ronda Rousey is gonna get raped? Probably not. They're probably gonna knock the fuck out of somebody. You know, if even even if they are drunk. And um, yeah, like like there's a lot of strong women out there. But honestly, but but so, I, like a woman or a man can get their innocence taken away just by being sexually assaulted and um is that really losing your virginity no <laughs> no i wouldn't say so i mean losing your virginity is when you consent right i mean you got sexually assaulted and it takes it takes your innocence it doesn't take your virginity i don't think um and yeah so this has been an interesting podcast i'm gonna go for a little bit longer than usual just because of last week was not ideally uh acceptable <laughs> but um guys there's one thing you need to take away from this podcast, if you're listening to this part, is that, especially guys, because because guys get a bad rap, so for all you guys out there, give us a good name. Because I definitely have done things that I regret in my life, but I've never done anything too crazy. But guys, just think about it this way. You are stronger than most girls because of your testosterone. That is the only reason. And be probably, be, and especially like the ones who exercise, because there is a lot of girls who do exercise but don't really have a lot of strength. Um, no, yeah, you know, so it's like you're kind of staying in shape, and then you're able to like muscle, but then you kind of do need a guy's help. What am I saying anymore? Forget I said any of that. Take all that back. Um, um, okay, I need to regather my thoughts here. So I. Um, with a guy, yeah, but, no, okay, how about back to, like, the, it scares me, like, honestly, it scares the hell out of me that I could, you know, do that, so this horrible, illegal, just not a good thing, practically with what, with, um, whenever I want, but not whenever I want, but it's just, like, if I was hanging out with one of my friends who are girls, I, 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 um, I would potentially have the strength to, you know, have my way with them, and that scares the fucking shit out of me, because I don't think I'm ever gonna do it. I, I mean, and and because I thought about it, like, no, I didn't think about doing it. I thought about like, like how it scares me and stuff. I, um, I, I'm very interested because, because, um. I would never bring myself to ever to that level to do it, which is nice, and and the probability of me doing it actually is actually very low because I've thought about this, and that's what makes me so unique. And I do real I do realize I got off topic, and I'm kind of switching gears here, but let's go back to unique. Um, so going back to unique, like that's what's unique about me is that I'm a thinker. I am a in the now thinker. I'm not a long. I I don't like to be a long term. But I'm a, I am a long-term thinker in just a few ways, uh, but not a whole lot. And yeah, so let's end off the podcast just by saying um, that hmm, basically, guys out there, do not, for the love of fuck, ruin our reputation by raping a girl and putting your hands on a girl. Or even just insulting them. Like, you don't need to, like, be respectful of everybody, not just girls. Like, because guys get a bad rap, too. So, yeah. Basically, be respectful. Um, a lot of deep shit in this podcast. And, <laughs> yeah, guys. So, I'm going to go. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Alright. Bye-bye. Thank you all for watching.